Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're going to be building sensory guided missiles. Now, this is quite a complicated process, so you might have to spend quite a bit of time messing around building them yourself. Now, the concept of this is to use the sensory lines to actually narrow it in on a target. So let's imagine that, that these are the sensor blocks. Now the sensor blocks themselves are going to be stood within a missile like this. The missile is going to be powered by gyroscopes that will be on each side of the missile, each responsible for controlling a separate quadrant. So that will mean it can spin, move up and down and chase a target freely. Now the actual arc it's going to use itself, it's going to use a sort of crosshair sort of design and we're going to overlap the sensor blocks. So when a sensor block is tripped like so, it'll correct turning the sensor block off sending it back across and lining up with the middle here. So obviously the same will be done if it comes in from an angle. The sensor block will detect that it's gone off out here. We'll turn that actual sensor off, disabling the gyroscope, allowing the missile to turn freely. Now that sounds a lot complicated, so let's actually get building and see what we can come up with. So as you can see, I've started work on the actual object itself and I've gone with this little orb sort of design and the plan is to basically have it pivot on the spot until I can work it out to get into a missile form. Now as you can see, we've got it on up and down sort of tilt at the moment. It can track us across wherever we may go. We could go all the way under here and it'll just continue tracking us across. We just need to get that right and left sort of track activated now and then we should be able to guide this thing with the activation of a missile. Now one thing I am worried about is you can see that these two lines are actually the parameters of how far it will detect you. Now I'm worried if a big ship is larger than these two lines that it might start wiggling and might not actually find the target but we'll have to see. So for this next part, I'm going to do a quick test. I've installed the second axis, so hopefully everything will track me correctly. Now, one problem I did find, it required a hell of a lot of power, so I've had to upgrade the power source. And I've also changed the shape, because the shape itself seemed a little bit weird where I was placing the gyroscopes, making it a little bit unstable. So let's just test the axes on their own, and then we'll test them together. So let's move right, and it tracks right. Let's track left, tracks left, tracks up. Okay, now that's a little bit more interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's because we're not exactly down the axis. So let's track down. Okay, that's really interesting. Really weird. It's, it's locking back onto us still. But it seems to be accessing more of the gyroscopes. Maybe the gyroscopes are fighting each other or something else. Let's try coming over to here and see if it can find us. See, it does lock onto us eventually. It's just understanding where we are. It's trying to catch us between them lines like I showed at the beginning. And it seems to be working quite well. Let's try. So let's try something a little bit harder for it. Let's try. Uh, let's try spinning on one axis and then coming up like at a far corner. Oh, I think we've actually left the axis. Let's come back in here and let's see if it can actually find us. Now this is quite interesting. This is because I'm leaving the actual area of the sensors and then I'm popping back in. So the problem is, it might have quite a limited range, you might have to get this thing right up behind the target before it can actually track it. And then we're going to have to also match their acceleration, so it's going to seem a lot harder than I originally first thought. Anyway, let's turn this into a proper missile, get that hidden away, and see what we can do with it. So what I've done now is I've added some colour, I've added a bit of a shape and a bit of a hull, also added a bit of protection for the engine, added the camera back onto the front as well as adding some stabilization thrusters so when it's turning and twisting trying to chase down a fighter or even a larger ship it's not going to drift off in one direction. Now the back one at the back is only a small thruster because I don't want it to go too fast accelerate straight past the ship and give them that easy option of just diving out the way but hopefully we'll be able to get a good lock on the tests. Anyway let's switch it on and make sure it still works. So we'll activate this up and turn that on and it still should be tracking us wherever we may go okay that's perfect let's see if we can track us over here it's missed the track point is it going to bring it back around and it is very good very good indeed all right hopefully it's just a bit more precise when it's flying now that's going to be the challenge now for this first test, what I've done is set up a target over there and I've set the missile so it's going to miss the target. I'm going to see if it actually curves itself back in to hit the target itself. So let's activate this missile. We're going to hit this button 
and it should start heading towards the target. We're also going to up the power so it just glides over there. So let's upgrade that thruster, make sure it's on. And there we go. Now, hopefully, it'll notice that that ship's there and it'll correct itself and bring itself over in that direction. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to do that, but will it notice at the last minute? And it looks like it has. Now, that is quite interesting. That is quite interesting. Now, we're just going to have to test it in some different situations, maybe a moving ship, and see what happens. Now, I was pretty sure that that was going to miss, and then at the last minute, it turns. So, we're onto something here. I think we're onto something. And it's coming back around again. This missile does not give up. Wow. I'm pretty excited. This is I'm, this is this is gonna be pretty good. If if this if this works like I think it's gonna work, we could have just invented a very, very dangerous weapon indeed. And it just keeps coming back around until it hits. It, do, it just doesn't give up. Wow, large ships are gonna fear this thing. If we can arm that up with a sort of nuclear torpedo load, this thing could be extremely dangerous. Let's try it on a smaller large ship as well as it being moving. So over there in the distance is a large ship. What I'm going to do is I'm going to launch this torpedo here. And I've got F11 mode on so we can see what happens when it interferes. And wow, that was, that was pretty damn exciting. <laughs> Put quite a big dent in it as well. So that was about, they were both moving targets. And it looks like it's still trying to obtain that lock and destroy that ship even though it's moving. This is quite interesting. It's just interesting to see something like this come into life. Now, if the sensory fields were much larger, you could have a much more dangerous weapon. So let me just turn this off. We can actually see what's happening without all of the targets. So the missile's correcting itself and now chasing down that target, or at least trying to chase down the target. And it looks like it may have lost its track because it was damaged. One of the gyroscopes looks like it's been taken out. Yeah. So that's why it's not managed to obtain its track, but it was temporarily tracking it. Now that missile's quite far away, so let's try launching another one at it. But this one will launch over to the left to make sure it misses. And we're launching it at quite a high speed. It's just It just turns into the target and then... Oh, it's coming back. This one's coming back. It's coming for some more. Oh, that tracking. That That is going to be so dangerous. The only problem is once they lose the lock... They could even become a danger to your own ship. We don't have to try this out on some smaller vessels. But we'll definitely have to do these. Imagine these against a large ship, though. They come flying over the deck. You drop them at an interesting angle. It's going to be something that you don't have to fear. Now, I wanted to try this on a small ship. See if you would be able to actually attack one. And it doesn't seem to even be able to pick them up for some reason. So I'm just going to launch this one over the top. It's set up ready to detect small ship. And I'll move out the way to show that it's not actually detecting me. And it just seems to ignore that the small ship is even there. Now, if you really want to piss off your friends, this could be the option. Now, what I've done is I've combined the blocks using that secret little tactic. And I've put myself a turret on the front. So what's going to happen here is this is going to track and chase pretty much whoever bumps into it. And of course... It's quite a dangerous choice to have because that's going to be chasing your friends around and then tracking them down trying to shoot them. And like so, it's shooting off a, a ship in the distance. Just a really funny sort of way of killing people. Now you could even upgrade that to put a large sort of turret or even a rocket pod on there. And instead of actually using it to track people, you can actually just have it as something running around, chasing people down and shooting at them. So it's tracking me currently at the moment and the machine gun is going absolute wild. Just another interesting idea, but let's continue on. So today I thought I would show you these missiles to show you how they work and the actual abilities that they have to actually come back, lock on and track onto a target. Just something that's really exciting to have a mess around with. Now you could use this for all sorts of other things. You could have it as like a mining mule that would follow behind you and you could put store and add items into it. But it's just a really nice concept and I thought I would show it you. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.